Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Breaking Free with Coach Lizzie. God bless you. Again, I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Continue to go out and thrive. Take care of yourself. Live your best life. I want to share a quick topic with you all about how the narcissist never loved you. They pretended to love you the whole time through the relationship. Yes, they pretended to love you the whole time through the relationship. They never loved you. Everything was faked. Everything was a fraud. They did it well. They acted well. All the lovey-dovey hugs and the kisses and holding your hand and spending time with you at the restaurants, the dinner, you know, uh, family events. And even some of these narcissists, they didn't socialize with your family. So if you all... Oh, out there for those that noticed that your narcissist or the narcissist that you was with never came to any birthday celebrations, any events. They always kept themselves separated uh, from you and your family because they never wanted to really connect. Everything was all about, I just want me and you to be together. When the holidays came, I just want me and you to be together. I just don't really want to go anywhere. I just want to just sit back and watch some movies and just enjoy you and the kids or just you and that person, whoever that narc was in your life, whether it's a male or female narcissist, they never really loved you. They faked the love the whole time. And it seemed so genuine. It seemed so real. And the things that they did for you was almost like unbelievable, especially through the love bombing stage, because you really thought that this person really loved you. I mean, they, they smiled. They, you know, they did romantic like things for you. They, you know, they took you on trips and, you know, they brought your food, you know, to the table. They fixed your plate. You know, they brought food to you in bed. They took care of you when you were sick. And, you know, all those things were never really genuinely from the heart. They only did those things to make sure that you never noticed that they were demonic, that you never noticed that everything was a fraud and everything was fake. They had to make sure that your mind and everything about you stay in tune with them they had to make you believe that everything was perfect that nothing was wrong so that way you wouldn't find out who they really were or what they was really up to so all the love was fake the whole relationship even uh when you were intimate with this person when they were intimate with you, when they would have a sex with you or or uh, or so-called love making or you know whatever you call it you notice that things just wasn't right or didn't feel right the intimacy was like robotic the intimacy was not really from the heart they were faking facial expressions they were faking um you know um you know the whole love making deal everything was a fraud and fake they made you feel like you was the best thing that they ever had um uh, intimately but the whole time it was a fraud the whole time it was fake the whole time they were pretending, but they had to make you think that everything was real. I mean, even with your children, they, you know, play the stepdad, the stepmom. They get in there to make the kids fall in love with them so that way they can have that connection with you. Because they know if you're a single parent or you looking for a husband or you looking for a wife, they will make sure that your kids fall in love with them, do everything for your children. To buying the ice creams, the extra bags of candy, taking them to the movies, taking them to the park, reading bedtime stories, all kind of things. Because they know that if you see them interacting with your children and the children love you, they know that it's a matter of time before they can get you. So be careful with that. Stop leaving your children with these people. Stop trusting these people with your children. I remember what Coach Lizzie said before. Some of them are uh, pedophiles. Some of them into sex trafficking. You don't know. You can't trust these people. You can't just trust anybody anymore, people. This world is faulty. This world is wicked. This world is not friendly. It's not the way we think it is. We are too vulnerable. We're too open. And these people know it. That's how the narcissist was able to manipulate and to trick us the way they did. To make us think that everything was real. And that's why when they discard us or discard you or you discarded them. But we're going to say right now that the narcissist discarded you. When they discard you and they walk out your life and they leave with no explanation, no reason, just take off and leave. That's why... The pain is so detrimental to you and me. 
is because we really loved them. We were really all in. We thought it was real. That's why we suffer from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Some people are depressed. Some people are full of anxiety. Some people are broken. Some people are on the verge of suicidal thoughts and tendencies. Some people can't function because they can't understand what happened in a relationship. Why did this man leave? Why did this woman just out of nowhere just up and leave? It's because they already had you trained. Everything was a plan. It was all a setup. It was a matter of time that they were going to do what they was going to do uh, to us. And so everything, like I said, was a fraud. You just didn't know it. And you thought that you found your knight in shining armor. You thought that you found the woman of your dreams, your soulmate. And they know it. And they're laughing about it, not knowing uh they know that you don't know what their plans are for your future. And so be careful with that. Pay attention to um, the body language. Pay attention to how they respond, how they react to you. Look into things, you know, look at the red flags. Don't ignore them because they're there. If there, if there is red flags to be seen, they will be seen. You don't have to go digging for it because it'll expose itself. The enemy always exposes themselves. They can't stay private for long. Someone or something that is evil cannot remain good for too long without slipping up. You know what I mean? Without, you know, uh, without that mask falling off or without you seeing something that's not right. A lot of times they have anger problems, anger issues that they can mask very well. Some of them have abusive tendencies that they can mask very well. Uh, some of them are, again, pedophiles, child molesters. Some of them are just criminals. And I don't care if this is a male or a female. They can be criminals. These narcissists are psychopathic. They're sociopath. They're, uh, they have high narcissistic tendencies, high narcissistic traits. Uh, some of them are demonic. Some of them into witchcraft. Some of them into... Um, you know, just all kind of wickedness. So Coach Lee just wants you to be aware, you know, of these things and not be naive. And to understand that that narcissist never loved us. They never loved you. They mask everything. All, everything was fake. But I know it seems so real. That's why come it's hard for some of us to say, well, well, maybe it was me. Because there's no way a person can be with somebody this long or have children with them and marry them and go through the cycle of life for four or five, 10, 15, 20 years and not have any feelings for you. They can. That's how good they are. A narcissist will stay with you and manipulate you as long as they need to until they get what they want from you. Anybody can do it. You can do it if it was in you, but it's not in you to be that way. And sorry for the background noise. Somebody's driving with a, a really loud truck. Sorry about that. But, um, but yeah, they never really loved you. Everything was masqueraded. Everything was premeditated. Uh, the narcissist wrote the script of how they were going to love bomb you. When they were going to love bomb you. When they was going to start to um, devalue you. And then when they were going to discard you. They knew. They knew the effect that it would take on you. They knew all of this up front. And you think they cared about how devastating that would be to you? No, because they didn't care. Because they lack empathy. Because they don't have compassion. They don't care about anyone by, except themselves. They are very grandiose. They think that they are God. They think that they are powerful. They think that they are to be feared. They think that they are the best thing since sliced bread, okay? And whatever else you want to call it. But these people never loved you. And so for those of you all that are suffering, fighting with yourselves, fighting with your feelings, saying, I just don't get it. This is not possible, baby. All things are possible in this world, especially in these last days. The Bible says that, that, the, that the devil will transform himself into an angel of light. So the narcissists know how to transform themselves into an angel. They can transform themselves into your knight in shining armor. They can transform themselves into your princess, to, into your woman of your dreams, kings. The devil can transform themselves. And, you know, if you think about some of the scary movies that you've watched back in the day 
where you saw how the devil can transform themselves into your mother or father or a child or to a loved one. And you'll let your guards down and you'll start embracing me, embracing it and go to it and walk to it and want to hug it because you miss them. Because you want to be with them. And then when you hug them and embrace them, you find out it's not your loved one. And the devil goes, ha, 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 ha. They smile and transform themselves back into who they really are. That's what the narcissist does. They're like aliens. They're like chameleons. They are liars. They're deceivers. They are not who you think they are. And they're very good at what they do. You have to remember that not only do God in heaven have heavenly angels, you have to remember that the enemy also has angels. You have to remember that when Satan was kicked out of heaven, one third of the angels were kicked out with them. So those angels are roaming this earth with Satan doing his bidding. And the narcissist is a part of that bidding. The narcissist is a part of the demonic Jezebel spirit, the, the demonic Jezebel family of the narcissist, of the devil. Okay? Not of the narcissist, but of the devil. You have to understand that. Stop being naive. We have to remember that we're not fighting against flesh and blood. The Bible clearly states and tells us we're not fighting against, against flesh and blood, but the principalities and powers and wickedness in high places. God bless you. Have a great day.